What is going on with it, YouTube? Bully World. Gorilla Talking Bullies back at you again. It is Friday. I just got home, y'all. Y'all just don't know. I, it, I am so thankful it's Friday. We had a... Every work week... Every work week here the past last two, three months has seen hard. But this work week was extremely hard. So I'm literally just pulling up. I let the hounds out. They, they down here beside me playing kissy face um but i'm blessed and i'm alive man i know i haven't posted in a little bit about a week or so but uh, figured i'd come on here and talk about development man you know what i'm saying what you're looking for in your pups what you see what age do dogs start showing their highlights and their flaws um you know first i'll start with jay you know what i'm saying um jay when Jay was around four and a half, five months is when I started seeing highlights and attributes within him, features within both parents, and where he was going to come along. Uh, one day I remember I let Jay out, and I was walking behind him, but I had like an overview of him, and um, it just like popped right then. I was like, yo, this dude's going to be slammed to the floor, and he's going to have some muscle to him, man. Um the only thing that actually surprised me about Jay is his head size. I didn't know his head was going to spread. Last time I last time I checked Jay's head, it was like 20, 21, if I remember correctly. Um, I'll have to do it again, and I'll do another video showing his head size uh, here pretty soon. Sometime this weekend, hopefully. But I knew then he was going to be pretty much where I wanted him. Um, I, he, his rear actually surprised me too, because Jay has an amazing rear. He has a striations in his rear and his rear just buckles out, you know what I'm saying? And, and I uh, look like he has two big bird feathers on each side of his rear. And, um, he, he has the best of both worlds, uh, when it comes to his mom and dad. And of course, you know, um, Ivy from Sellers American Bullies is a little small, small pocket female. And you know, he gets his size and his length and his height from his mother i do believe he gets his girth in his head and his rear from his father but neither one of those dogs um that mark put together are subpar of course jago's dad's grand champion brisket from prime choice and um he put those dogs together strate strategically and very very um he took his time with it and I think that Jago got the best of both worlds from his parents and, and, and that pedigree from both sides. And uh, like I said, I, I knew that his rear wasn't going to be high. I knew his top line was going to be fresh. Um, I knew his feet was going to be correct at around five months. I would say four and a half, five months. I knew pretty much what I was looking for, looking um, forward to. Because when I got Jay, he looked like a French bulldog. I'm not going to lie. He looked like a French. He had Frenchy ears. And honestly, that gives me somewhat of a blueprint what to look for when I drop my litter with him in Nezuko. Any dogs that has Jay's features as a pup, those are the ones I'm more than likely be keeping. Um, but like I stated before, I, I only plan on keeping a female out of this first litter that I dropped with him in Nezuko. And there's a lot of time in between then. So, you know, things could change. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and and, um, and claim it right now that both litters that I plan to have from these two are going to all live and they're going to all be healthy and they're going to all have both, you know, the best of both worlds. Um, but, uh, you know, when I drop that litter with, with Jay and Nezuko and I see pups with Jay's features, more than likely I'm going to be keeping. Now let's get the Nezuko, man. Nezuko is more than, I mean, you could, you could say she's boss blood. You can say Jay's homicide and she's boss blood all the way. There's a lot of eminence dog within um, Nezuko's pedigree. And her highlights so far, she's about four and a half months old right now. Uh, closer to five. And when I'm looking at Nezuko now, the features that I see is that barrel chest, uh, the, the shoulders, and, and the the she's just wide like from her torso up and her neck is just wide that's where she carries the most of her girth 
Now, places that she lacks. Now, her feet are good. Her feet are pretty good. Um, her top line isn't like Jay's. It's a slight high rear. Slight. Um, nothing too crazy. But that's why I got Jay. Uh, but where she lacks, I'm going to say, is that her muzzle's long. A, a little longer than what I would like. And her head size, I don't think she's going to have that dome like Jago's. But that's why I got Jago also. And she does lag in the rear. She has a narrow rear right now. Now, of course, these are American bullies we're talking about. Within the next month, I might look at Nezuko and be looking at a totally different dog. Just like I did with Jago. I don't hear nothing. So I got to, okay. They went way like that on the fence line. To go through. When you don't hear nothing, you better look. Um, I, but I think that Jay is going to give her what she lacks. Uh, the whole plan with Nezuko was to add girth. And that girl has girth. Has girth. I'm going to put a, one of the latest pictures up here right now. Um, she's so barrel chested, man, and shoulders and neck is just ridiculous. But when you, when you get towards her, her rear, it goes from here and then it kind of goes in and she lacks on them side pieces, man, on that rear. And, uh, but I, I think Jay's going to add to that along with Nesco adding girth. But like I said, any pups with Jay's feature features, those are more than likely the ones I'm going to be keeping. But as of right now, those are the high points and the low points that I see within Nezuko within these four and a half, five months uh, that she is. But that is so subject to change because we talking American bullies, y'all. American bullies. Um, we should have a breeding coming down pretty soon, I think, within the next month, I want to say. And um, I got a guy that I got a hold of me out of state that... Uh, we'll be purchasing a female very, very soon. And, and, you know, he stated that he wanted that pup to, um, uh, grow and go straight to Jago. Um, he said, no way fans of butts. I'm like, well, bro, you know, you out of state. There's plenty of dogs where you live that, you know, could definitely be your stud, bro. You know, instead of me having to send semen, just goes, he's like, no, I want Jay. So, you know, there's another way long down the road and that's subject to change. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I've had some inquiries. I've had a guy in Austin that, that touched base with me who has a five-month-old female, and um, that looks pretty promising right now. Matter of fact, he has a litter of two on the ground right now, and I've been going back and forth with him. Seems like a really cool dude, you know what I'm saying? But that's what we're dealing with right now over here at Gorilla Tone, man. Other than that, I'm just still glad it's Friday. I'm glad to be off work, man. I'm going to get in here and eat. Well, I'm going to take a, a shower first, and I'm going to eat. And uh, I'm just going to post up, man, and go to the gym later on tonight. And uh, hopefully I'll be posting more videos. I'm going to try to get another video of Jay's head side at a year and three or four months. Like I said, the last time I took his head size, I believe it was 2021, somewhere in there. Um, so I'm looking for 21 and a half, maybe 22 this time. But we'll see, man. Uh, but y'all stay up, man. Y'all pray for me. I'm praying for y'all. God bless. Keep God first. Remember that. Peace.